won the biggest prize in short track racing, the NASCAR Toyota All-Star Showdown for the Grand National Division. His father, Albert, joining him here in victory lane as he stumbles down off the car. Wow, what a big prize. Tell me about how you did it, because you were able to stay in front of those guys all night long. Well, I'll tell you, this car was hooked up tonight. The crew worked hard all day. We didn't have very good luck in that heat race last night, but we worked hard today, put a new setup in it, and uh, boy, we were flying. And that he did. Mike Johnson, the winner of the Toyota All-Star Showdown Grand National Division. Mike? What a great drive he had. Kept his cool through all those restarts and it all unfolded back behind him. So he's going to get half of that huge trophy and a set of keys. Jim's with Matt Kovalar. And Matt's got the second place trophy on the roof, but Matt, this race certainly had a wild, wild finish right in the middle of all of it. Yeah, we seem to be uh, caught up in quite a bit of it there at the end. When we went back green for the final segment, um, I was cut down to the bottom and the 16 went and cut down to go underneath the 96 at the same time I was in there and he caught me in the right front and spun himself right off there and kind of a, you know, I don't want to see it go like that, but I had the position in there and he was trying to chop down and get underneath the 96 at the same time. So nothing I could really do about that because if I checked up, I would have got spun myself from behind. So then, you know, as the race wore down there, uh, uh, Scott Lynch in the 08, he was running me hard. I mean, he was running me real hard, wanted to get the position. And then the last couple laps, he just drove me right in the door. And I guess he spun himself out there at the end. And I mean, he hit me pretty hard. I thought I was going around. But I mean, we, for what we went through this weekend, I mean, we blew up the rear end. We had brake problems during the 50 lap qualifying race yesterday. We ran around like a pile of junk during that. So to persevere the way my guys did and, and pull through this weekend, you know, great day for the Mohegan Sun Casino, the Mohegan Sun team. I got to say hi to my uh, to my wife and kids at home. They're, you know, 3,000 miles east in Connecticut, and they're watching, so good day for us. I can tell by the emotion this is an important day for you. They're not with you, but, man, what a great run. What a great bit of pride you can take through the offseason. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great way to finish off the season. I mean, we've been... We've had a winning team the whole season long. It just stuff happens out on the racetrack you can't control, but we just persevere. And the guys, you know, we put our heads down and grind through it, and this is the result. You know, you come down and, and you really just keep going and don't let things get you down, and you can do it. I mean, perfect example is Martin Truex. Those guys just persevered all season long. Congratulations to those guys. They deserve to win a championship. So perseverance is the key to this game. So that's what we did. Ralph? Brian Horace standing here with a third place trophy on top of his car. It was a wild night out there, Brian, and it seemed to be excessively aggressive coming back to the line when the yellows were out. How come? I'm not sure why it was so aggressive. I know some of the guys were real anxious there, but uh, I'll tell you, when the 08 spun there, I, I just kept my foot to the floor. I was trying to get by the high side of him I, and before he closed that gap and didn't quite make it. So we're pinging off him and the wall and everything else. But I'll tell you, the guys made a good stop on um, the 10-minute break, and, and it was really going pretty good. I know those cautions were helping us because with the cold tires, we were going a little bit better. And uh, I just want to thank everybody involved in the crew, all the folks back home, and uh, Goss Dodge and all, our, all the people that support us. Mike, confusion, pandemonium, craziness down here in the Victory Circle area, but the trophies are handed out. These drivers are smiling, and it's going to be a winner with a lot of bench racing because they'll be talking about this one for quite a while. This is the strangest looking victory lane I've ever seen, Ralph. We've got the stage, we've got the giveaway trucks, we've got the winning cars, we've got the wrecker, we've got the rollback, we've got wrecked cars. What a way to finish out the season. And a lot of smoke and speedy dry and people and yeah, it's an unusual look down here on the start finish line. Here's Jim. Joey McCarthy came across the line, we think, in third position, but Joey, you didn't get what you needed. You didn't get any long runs at the end. Did you have some for these guys? Uh, absolutely. We were probably one of the better cars on the track during the halfway break. I tried to position myself a little better than last year, but this Trim Spy X32 Chevy was flying, and we needed some long, long runs at the end, and we couldn't get them. Everybody's on new tires. Whoever they invert in the front row two years in a row won the race, and that part's frustrating, but it's a great run for us. Team did a great job, and uh, just happy to represent Trim Spa in a positive way. You guys were putting it together with toothpaste and Band-Aids to get here all season long. It seemed like it was a struggle. How, how satisfying is this for you? Unfortunately, from a competitive standpoint, it's not that satisfying. I really wanted to come out here and win and prove something. You know, we get put on a platform here, so, you know, the guy that wins gets all the recognition, but, you know, I'm really happy all around just uh you know we made a lot of passing we made it exciting and uh i just like to say hi to everybody back at home my little girl and uh to all the trim spa people uh thanks a lot for getting me out here mike david gilliland led 92 laps andy santer led 10 or 90 laps santer led 10 and after the invert mike johnson led the rest of the way let's go down to victory lane 
Mike, we're down here in the Victory Lane area where things are, like I said, a little bit crazy. Let me run up here on the stage. It's been a wild night down here. Not everybody's 100% sure, to be completely honest with you, as to what took place here at the finish of tonight. If I can slide by Albert Johnson here and some of the guys. Let me get by you guys. All right, I got a couple of big name winners up here in the middle of all this thing. Eric, let me get you up in here with Mike. Gentlemen, these are the big trophies that you guys were fighting for all night long here tonight. What does it mean to you now to see this, Mike? Oh, boy, you, you don't know what this means. To come out of this race last year on a wrecker and uh, the luck we had lately, this is, this is just awesome. This picks us up for the whole year. All right, well, let's start by getting Mr. Jim Austin here to hand out these trophies from Toyota. All right, well, we got all kinds of stuff here for you guys tonight, but first of all, let me uh, uh, give you these two trophies here. One for you, Eric, for the Elite Series, and Mike, on, uh, congratulations on your victory. Uh, one for the Grand National Series as well. So uh, both well-earned. Appreciate the hard work that all of you guys have done here the uh, past couple of days. You, I think you put on some great races for us. Unfortunately, the last one here, well, we probably had a little bit more action than we all really wanted, but great race. Congratulations, Mike. And same to you, Eric. It was an absolutely spectacular night. Eric, one final thought, and we got to get it upstairs. What do you think about this beautiful trophy you're getting? Man, that's, uh, that's the most beautiful trophy I've ever seen right there. It's, uh, like I said, I, got th I love to thank Toyota for everything they've done for us local racers, and uh, it's a dream come true for me. Mike? Jim Oust also has a set of keys to present to each of those drivers. They get one year's use of a Toyota Tundra truck. There's a championship ring for each driver and for every crew member of the winning crews. Mike Johnson, the winner in the Grand National Division. Bush North sweeps the front four. Matt Kobola, Brian Hoare, Brian Chu, Joey McCarthy, Mike Olson. That's six Bush North drivers. Then Tim Woods from the West, Bobby Dragon from the North, Mike Duncan, the West Series champion, and Kelly Moore's battered car came home in the top 10. See that? Never give up. Eric Holmes on the left beating Rip Michaels, Bernie Lamar, Craig Rodman, Eric Darnell in the AutoZone Elite Division. Great thanks to the folks at Irwindale Speedway, to NASCAR, and to Toyota for backing NASCAR's biggest short track Saturday night, the Toyota All-Star Showdown. Wow, what a show. It was a big, big night, especially for those two men. For Jim Trado and Ralph Shaheen, Dick Berger and I'm Mike Joy congratulating Eric Holmes and Mike Johnson, the champions of the NASCAR second annual Toyota All-Star Showdown.